Hi, this is Em from WCCF Tech, and MSI has rolled out the latest Agessa 1.2.07 BIOS firmware for its motherboards that will also allow overclocking on the new AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D 3DV cache CPU. The latest BIOS comes with a range of features, and today we have a first look at the overclocking figures. This isn't the first time that we are hearing that the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D can overclock. We've already seen the chip breaking past the 5 GHz threshold on the MSI Meg X570 godlike motherboard and posting up to a 12% performance gains with the overclock applied. Now we can confirm that MSI's Meg X570 godlike motherboard and other options with external clock generators have the ability to allow overclocking on the 3D VCache chip. And MSI will be releasing a new BIOS that will let users do just that. The AMD Agessa 1.2.07 BIOS has come out on the MSI 500 and 400 series motherboards, while the 300 series rollout is planned for a little bit later. This will allow the 300 series motherboards to support the latest Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and APU lineup, including the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Screenshot from the Ryzen SMU checker comparing the Agessa 1.2.07 to the Agessa 1.2.06 Patch C firmware. One cool feature that the upcoming BIOS, more specifically for the MSI Meg X570 Godlike, is that will feature a new CPU base clock tuning option within it. This will be available on the new update and users can adjust the base clock of their chip for overclocking. As expected, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D offered a 5% gain in multi-threaded and 7% gain in single-threaded tests. This should even out the performance disparity that the X3D version had against the original Ryzen 7 5800X due to its lower clocks. As an important note, CPU base overclocking on a Ryzen CPU platforms will affect the stability of PCIe, SATA, and M.2 devices. So the maximum BCLK overclocking get out of your chip is very much dependent on your CPU, your graphics card, your SATA, and M.2 SSDs. Newer graphics cards such as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 and 30 series are very sensitive to BCLK overclocking and may become a bit unstable when you overclock the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D CPU. But what do you think? Would you be overclocking the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D if it means that your graphics card and your whole system may be a bit more unstable? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.